Scotiabank, as you've heard, many of our Caribbean executive team have had the privilege of attending here at school. We know many of our leaders in the future will also come from UWE. So it's really one of the important reasons why we're committed to investing in our communities and specifically the youth here in Jamaica. In order to demonstrate this commitment, I'm very pleased to announce today that Scotiabank will continue in our role as lead sponsor of the UE Toronto Benefit Gala for the next five years. And we'll be increasing our total sponsorship investment to 75,000 Canadian dollars per year. And most importantly, our sponsorship, our sponsorship will include 15 new Scotiabank scholarships per year designated to support worthy students in need. Today my colleagues will share a little bit about their career paths and the importance of education in shaping their decisions along the way. Audrey, Adrian, Perrin and Yannick, I'll ask you to share the best piece of career advice that you've had. For me, I would say it's always to put your hand up and try something new. You can have some of the best learning experiences when you push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Now it's scary to make the jump, but the opportunity to push yourself to your limits is worth it. I think the piece of career advice that I would like to give you is to pursue your passion. You know, you don't have to fit into a mold. Who knows what's going to happen when someone studies history and, and physics and what, you know, they're going to discover that actually is going to be something useful for the future. You don't have to fit into the mold. Pursue your passion and be your best. <laughs> the best piece of career advice is to to get along with people to collaborate you you can never do it alone and, and achieve on your own and a lot of times things can be achieved through a simple conversation if things don't go right in a meeting then you make an effort to touch base with the person face to face but build good relationships good strong healthy working relationships is my best advice believe in you right sometimes at this age you doubt yourself not sure what career path or what you should study and so on but there's a little voice that you know you're you're here and you should listen to and believe in yourself have confidence in in your ability and i think if you do that and build strong relationships then i think you all can be very very successful don't be afraid to be uncomfortable don't be afraid to try new things and it's important that to develop your network as adrian said you'll meet a lot of persons during a tenure here at university and you'll be surprised, you know, the type of career paths that different persons take. Make advantage of that aspect of UWE. I was blessed to be a recipient of the um, Toronto Gala Scholarship. I just want to thank Mr. Um, Brendan King, his team, even the scholars. I'm very determined and I'm saying that I'm going to finish. I'm going to do my best with every opportunity I get. And I do, I'm not doing it for myself, I'm doing it for the persons who are out there. Persons might give up on them, a person might deem them as, you know, useless or they, they can't accomplish anything. I want to be an example to, for those persons. I would like to express my immense gratitude to Mr. Brendan King and Scotiabank Canada, not only for their donations to the University Scholarship Fund, but also for assuming the role of lead sponsor for the UE Toronto Benefit Gala. It is a great honor to, once again, be a recipient of this transformative award. The scholarship will enable me to graduate without the worry of being unable to pay my tuition fees, my transportation costs, or being able to attend school because I can't afford a meal. The scholarship has also reminded me that hard work will indeed be rewarded. Thus, I will be more focused than ever to achieve the best results in both my internal and external exams so that I may achieve my goal of becoming an actuary. It would not be an exaggeration to say that this scholarship is an enormous step in allowing my dreams to come true. And I'm sure that many students in the past, present, and future will echo my sentiments. I'm inspired by this generosity and will ensure that I give back just as you have helped me. Thank you once again. I want to say thank you to all those who helped and played a role, seen and behind the scenes, in ensuring my success 
and those of the recipients sitting in our midst. And like Scotiabank, we can discover what's possible. <laughs> so we sincerely say thank you. Thank you and thank God for allowing you to make the difference in our lives. Thank you. I want to congratulate all of you, well-deserving students all. And I know it's very competitive to get, to get one of the scholarships. And none of you have wasted it. You're all doing so well. And you're getting there on your journey. But enjoy your studies, enjoy your time, work hard, have fun, make the connections that will be with you your whole life. I wish you all the success. Congratulations to all of you, well-deserving, and looking forward to seeing what your journeys are, are, are going to give forward.